original prototype. So some different mirrors. Uh, this time in blue. Looks great in blue. But I would uh, rather have yellow. This, after all, it's not a blue bird, it's a yellow bird. <laughs> blue seat belts, matching seat belts. No? Headlights, bridges. So, what do we have here? A 550 horsepower roof GT. Manual gearbox, 645 newton meters. 1450 kilos. 320 top speed, 199 miles per hour. Not bad. And it's the Mark II 991. Roof GT, a roof GT for GT board. Maybe. Roof logo. Take your RT35. But it has double clutch. Nice carbon diffuser. Looks a, bit, a bit like the RTR in the front. Wine red calipers. Nice roof bar stools. Roof wheels. So, a little overview on the roof stand with a few colors. And we have the CTR 2017, CT 
GTR. So the GT a refurbished 993. It's like a what was that called? SCR? I forgot. Oh, CR 3.8. Rest okay. GT, roof GT, and a roof nine six four, or I mean, nine third, nine eleven restored, nine oh one, or blue CTR two thousand seventeen. Prototype now blue and the uh, yellow bar 2017. The electric car over there. So 991 facelift. I thought it was the RT12R, but it was not. It's GT. Two, 300 horsepower less than the RTR. Anyway, that's all for roof stand right now. We'll be back in detail. It's so a collection great. version of the roof stand. Yellowbird 2017. Compared to the kind of concept that was shown two years ago, this one has a different rear spoiler and a different interior. And uh, yeah, I can see the navigation there is a bit new. And also, finally, we also have roof backs, which is. Gorgeous. Um, yellow is a very good color for the yellow bar. Love the roof logo here. Lovely. <laughs> Roof logo here. Carbon fiber tub. As you can see here. Hey, you guys know, I'm in real estate, I'm always thinking about uh, square footage, square footage, square footage, retail, how people are going to sell their goods, continue. Yes. Yes. Do you like this? Yes. Very nice. Good picture qualities? Yes. Wow. And it's. Uh, just perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Lovely. Even with roof bags. So here you can see more of the roof CTR 2017 monocoque. It's not too much 964 of it. But it's a lot of carbon making this a super light Porsche that is a roof that is a Porsche that is a roof German flag I kind of assume it is What is this? Is it 720 horsepower? 740 horsepower? Just see here. Holy thing is carbon. Carbon here. Carbon there. The whole body is carbon. And of course, the roof is carbon. Some huge brakes. Carbon or ceramic, of course. The roof chassis number. Not Porsche chassis number. And this is built to become nice. To become this. And here we have the prototype. So some different mirrors. Uh, this time in blue. Looks great in blue. But I would uh, rather have yellow. This, after all, it's not a blue bird. It's a yellow bird. Blue seat belts, matching seat belts. No. Roof headlights, gorgeous. Thank you. 
Look at the carbon here, real carbon monocoque, and also carbon here. Carbon everywhere. Roof bags. You really can smell the leather. Just hear the sound. <laughs> Did I close it? No. It sounds like a Gelände wagon when you close it. Just super timeless, epic, 360 km per hour top speed. Roof 964 hypercar. Give it to me, please. Mechanically, a little changes to this. 3.4 runs. 3.4 laser, yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I be very crude and say how long does it take and how much does that sort of process cost? We can ask the owner, <laughs> Alexis. How much? Uh, how long did it take? Eight months. Eight months. Eight. I'm, I'm, I'm too discreet to ask him personally how yeah. much it costs. Okay, it's good. I'll find out afterwards. <laughs> and okay. then you've got the, the second resto mod here as well, I believe, which is the property of a lady. Of a lady, yes. Uh, it's her birthday today, and she received this car as a birthday present today. Which is. Uh, is getting cars on the restaurant today. <laughs> This is a, a, a 993 Targa oh, that, beautiful. that was also completely taken apart and the full restoration was done and rebuilt and new interior, everything to the desired wishes of the owner of the car. Fantastic. Full to interior. And is this a performance upgrade as well? Yes, it has a performance upgrade. It has a 3.8 meter normal upgrade. Beautiful. And then I know that we have a piece of history on the on the far corner of your stand. The Porsche 901, chassis number 78, am I right to say? That is correct. This uh, is chassis number 78. And this is the actual car that was shown here at the Geneva Motor Show in 1964. Uh, 65. 65. 65. Uh, in 64, uh, a prototype was shown, which was called Quick Level one of the very first uh, cars that they in the second year in 1965 the first production car was shown 
and it is a 901. Two days later, they changed the nomenclature and it was a 911. Because of Porsche, Porsche, no, Porsche, 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 Porsche pointed out, Porsche, pointed, yes, pointed out to Porsche yeah. that they had already patented three-digit yeah. car model names with a zero in the middle, so Porsche had to change the 901 to the 911. So this car has its second win. It was here in 1965 and that was in a Porsche very stand. humble uh, I say that the Porsche stand in 1965 is yes. about half the size of your stand here today. <laughs> and that's how things have changed. Yeah. And this was also the first Porsche ever imported into Switzerland. That's right correct. Amac, wasn't it? it was Amac and it was delivered to the garage Schiller here as a four-fuel wagon. That's as a demonstrated car. Yeah. Yeah. Garage Schiller in Geneva. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And Built in, in 64, the delivery yeah. was in December. So that's the first time this car, of course, has come back to the Geneva Show in 54 years. Yes. Brilliant. Is that amazing really for the life of a car? <laughs> if only they could restore humans as you managed to restore Porsche. <laughs> and then, what have we, we got over here, Lawrence? Uh, this is a, another CTR anniversary that we are showing here. It's a demonstration car, demonstration model, in a different color. So, uh, so this have is. An idea. Is this the development car of that? Yes, you could say so. Okay. So that is the production version. This is, that is correct. almost there. And, and almost hidden in the corner? Now, this here is 10 years old, this car. It's an electric roof and e roof. And we brought this car because it should witness that 10 years ago already we showed uh, the electric automobiles. At that time, we were put in one corner and uh, was not so attractive as it is today. And everybody had a sort of a grin and a smile and said, oh, this is never happening. <laughs> and uh, we know what's happening today. And uh, so you were really quite proud that we were part of this first electric. You were, you were leading, leading the way. And is that purely electric? Purely electric, purely electric. And I love your slogan for that. It's uh, a motion without emission. Yeah. That's, that's very, very common. And so you brought that back 10 years afterwards, yeah. just, just to reinforce the message that, exactly. that you are a, a trailblazer in so many ways. Is there any intention to put something like that into production with it? Uh, not for us now, but uh, it can happen at a later time. It's possible, but for now we are concentrating on our cars that have the pure emotion of combustion engine. Now, before, before we finish up, um, how many CTR anniversaries are you planning to build? What is the, what is the we, limit? We were originally planning to build 30 cars, and uh, we had such a high demand that after we have asked all the 30 people that had spoken for a car, and they all gave the go-ahead, and we could build 50. So, so now 50 we're building is 50. 50 is the magic number. That's the magic number. And how, did, how do you see the future of, of what I almost call them coach built cars like that going forwards? Do you I, see the demand continuing to, yeah. to, to rise? I, I see the demand. This is something that will keep us busy for a uh, decades. Now, I think there is a man who's probably quite impatient to get the keys to his car, even if he can't drive off the center. Are we going to invite the